Robert. Robert, pleased yeah, to meet you. Nice to meet you. We've got life jackets under these seats. We've uh, never needed them, but it's nice to know where they're at. Me, we usually fish till around four Pacific. Uh, obviously, we lost some time this morning. The road's blown out on my end. I had to drive over a mountain to get here, and then another mountain to get here. And then I'll have to drive over a mountain to get back, and another mountain to get home. <laughs> So we're going to go out and have a good day regardless, and uh, I don't know what the sturgeon are going to do, but we're probably going to catch some other fish besides them, and the sturgeon fishing's been good, but it's hard to say. I'm looking to hook into some big bass and rainbows myself. Big bass and rainbows? Yeah. fishy And cast. It's a sleigh fest over here. Moving back into the snake. First rainbow. good I got a nice one on here took it hard can't tell if it's a bass or a uh oh Thank you for the scrap 
yards of gun with it. <laughs> Dollar a pound. Here, I can get out. Right off the back. Oh shit. What's the difference on the coloration? Like some of them are really tiger stripe looking. Uh, the, where they're hiding. Oh really? The darker ones are hiding in the shadows really? and the lighter ones are. So they kind of like the octopus thing? Yeah. Really? Yep. Did not know that. That's kind of, that's a great spot over there, but it's like fishing at the hatchery if there's a, Yeah, it is. <laughs> and if there's a little water pouring over these rocks, if the water's a little higher, yeah, it'll come out. it's really good fishing. Yeah, I bet. It's a great spot right there. I caught like four in about 30 seconds. Yeah, I just got three right here in about a minute. Ooh, oh. Nice. Sick. <laughs> nice fish. All right. Do you want to eat this fish? No. Because if you don't, I would like to take it for sturgeon bait because it's a hatchery fish, it's not a native. Yeah, go ahead. And these trout, they, uh, they die pretty quick. See that them? fins clip? Yeah. Uh, See how quick they start to bleed? The adipose. Sturgeon bait, he says. Okay, here. Clean my hands up. <laughs> she almost got away. No, I just made a mess on your spot. That one might be a... Here. Yeah, that one's going to be the best picture. Get it? Here, get one more. <laughs> I don't care. you got to hold it out in front of you and make it look bigger. There you go. <laughs> That's the trick? That's the trick. really like it hanging out under these rocks yeah. but these all let hit the bottom I'll watch the slack in my line usually uh -huh. a lot of times you see the slack first that's kind of a slow retrieve or if we're casting like I am from the shore I go towards the bank you know not to where I'm getting into the boulders uh -huh. and then it's a real slow retrieve I'm watching my line still so you were letting it go down at the bottom and just jerking a little bit off the bottom? Little jerks, real or real, slow, real, real slow. Okay. I'm going to slip off this rock, though. <clears throat> so these bass are down at the bottom? Yeah, the bass will come up from the bottom. All right. Looks like we're heading into the mother of all storms again. Got a low one. That's the first one I caught on one of these jigs. It was an expert tutorial that I just got from the cap. Good. The bass and trout hasn't been too bad. We just started sturgeon fishing. Guy wants to fight.
He's a fighter. He's, that usually means he's really small. Heading for shore. Going under the boat. Oh, and he got off. All the way out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice one. That's not good. That one. Woohoo! That's a big bass. 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 Damn it. Woo, still. That's a nice fatty. <laughs> Got grab by the mouth. I still got to catch a bass to eat. Woo! I'm gonna keep this one. What do I do with it? There's a rope on the back grill. On the right, pull the rope up and there's a line well in there. little fighters. Got his hackles up, he's pissed. Hey, are you gonna show me how to fillet these? Can you? Somebody told me to boil them.
Wow, that's the biggest one. Holy shit! That's a big fish, man. That's the best one of anybody. Best of the day. We got pretty lucky it's not 100 degrees today, huh? Uh, 110 over here. I could see where they built up the little... 40s, I think 47. So, it's like, people used to, like, bring burrows or something over here? That was for sheep. They both broke that piece out for sheep. So this trail just goes on all the way down the river. Yep. That's pretty cool. And it's not very well used anymore. I imagine not. Somebody put some time into building those supports or oh, whatever yeah. up there. This other side, it's pretty well recreated, pretty good. Pretty sketchy. <laughs> uh, I hate to be the guy that had to build that up there. Hand me up another rock. Right. Pretty cool. It's a nice deep little channel right here. All my hands are the chisel bit. One guy whacking on it. Holy crap. Wow, that trail goes all the way up through there, look. <laughs> wow. It's a great little spot. If I was a big rainbow, this is where I'd live. Captain is right! Watch your rod Woo. tip. Nice. Right, watch your rod <laughs> yeah. tip and see what you got on. Like, a whole different action than a bat. I mean, there's no trout in here, guys. Do those, do, uh, ooh, there's a bass bite here. Do the, uh, do trout eat these bass or are they too good, too spiny? I don't think they do. No, because I was thinking it'll be hard going they down. They eat a lot of crawdads. Because uh -huh. their meat's a different color than regular trout, you know, it's pink meat. Oh, like really? Yeah. Cutthroats on, orange. cutthroats on my list. I've never caught one. I caught my first brown last year out of the Boise. Oh my god! Imagine going up 
Quick turn back. Quick, take a picture. Your last first trout. Box. Sturgeon bait. Yeah, you're trout, sir. Yeah. yeah.